Dear students, first let us understand what exactly is wheat production. Wheat production is nothing but producing n ones of the same kind. First, you need to understand why wheat production is necessary. It's necessary because it ensures the continuity of various species on the earth. Otherwise, in earth life is not possible. There are two different types of reproduction. The first one is asexual reproduction and the second one is sexual reproduction. Let us understand how asexual reproduction is different from sexual reproduction. In asexual reproduction, only one parent is involved and here no gamete formation will take place. In contrast to asexual reproduction, the sexual reproduction involves two parents. Here, the gamete formation will take place and the fusion of male and female gamete will lead to the formation of new individual. In this video, we are going to concentrate only about asexual method of reproduction. Lower organisms like bacteria and amoeba will undergo asexual reproduction and few plants which includes onion and potato will reproduce by asexual methods. There are different types of asexual reproduction which includes fission, fragmentation, budding, spore formation, regeneration and vegetative propagation. Fission means splitting. In this type of asexual reproduction, the unicellular organism will split it into two or more separate daughter cells. There are two different types of fission. One is binary fission and the second one is multiple fission. In binary fission, the unicellular organism split it into two daughter cells. Examples include amoeba, euglena and paramecium. Binary fission in amoeba involves the following steps. Elongation of nucleus will take place first which is followed by the division of nucleus and cytoplasm. And finally, two daughter cells are formed from a single parent. Binary fission, the amoeba withdraws pseudopodia and becomes spherical in shape. The nucleus splits longitudinally and divides into two daughter nuclei. These daughter nuclei move towards opposite poles. This is followed by the elongation of the parent cell. A fissure appears in the middle of the cytoplasm between the two daughter nuclei, dividing the cells into two equal halves. Thus, two daughter amoebae are produced from a single parent. In multiple fission, the unicellular organism split it into many daughter cells. Examples include Chlorella and Chlamydomonas. In multiple fission, many daughter cells are produced and then Finally, all the daughter cells will be released from the parent cell. Now, let us discuss about the another type of asexual reproduction, fragmentation. In this type of reproduction, the organism simply breaks it into individual pieces at maturity. These individual small pieces then grow to form a new organism. This happens in Spirogyra. The next type of asexual reproduction is budding. In this process, a new organism will develop an outgrowth called bud. These buds are developed due to the cell division at one particular site. These buds develop into a new individual. When fully mature, it detaches from the parent body and become new independent individual. Hydra reproduces asexually by budding. At the time of asexual reproduction, small buds appear on the body wall. As the bud elongates, a mouth opens at its free anterior end, followed by the development of tentacles at the base of the oral region. The newly developed hydra detaches from the parent body and fixes on a substratum. In the next video, let us discuss about other methods of asexual reproduction.